it's so predictable and it's such an insult to our intelligence. You trust the ABC, don't you, to push the anti-nuclear cause and push it even to children to make them fear nuclear power. The federal liberals want to end the irrational ban on nuclear power, but it seems the ABC does not. Here is some of its behind the news program. It's uh, meant for children discussing this terrible idea. Nuclear power plants work by using a process called fission, which unlocks the power stored in an atom by splitting it. It's the same principle as atomic bombs. Except in nuclear power plants, the fission reaction is controlled. But not everyone thinks it's a good idea, because... Yeah. See, nuclear bomb tests in the 1960s and 70s soured the idea of anything nuclear in Australia. There were also a couple of terrible accidents at nuclear power plants. First, Chernobyl in 1986, then Fukushima in 2011. Not mentioned by the ABC, nuclear reactors won't explode like nuclear bombs. The nuclear bomb test here more than half a century ago killed no one. The Fukushima reactor, which was hit by an earthquake and a tsunami, killed no one with its radiation, not one person. And the Chernobyl disaster, the only fatal such disaster, was nearly 40 years ago in a superannuated reactor in a Soviet Union that's incompetent and even then killed fewer than 60 people that we know of. Joining me on Newswatch is Sophie Ellsworth, media writer for the Australian newspaper. Sophie, look, you alerted me to this. Again and again, we are seeing this on shows like this uh, Behind the News. It's as if the, this ABC show for children is run by veterans of far-left protest movements of last century trying to pass on the last flickering flame to the children of ABC viewers. Well, Andrew, my issue with these stories that behind the news this children's program put out is this is going into classrooms, this is going into the youngest generation in this country and basically brainwashing them that this is a bad idea. Now, if this report was balanced and said the pros and cons of wind uh, and solar energy, the pros and cons of nuclear energy... I think that's that's fair and balanced, but it's never fair and balanced. And, Andrew, we've spoken many times over the years about these behind-the-news reports that these children see, and often, Andrew, it leads them leaves them being terrified that, in this case, nuclear energy is a shocking thing and it's something that Australia shouldn't adopt. This is what the young generation are being told at schools. And you've followed this behind the news series more closely than I have, but I've got to say, I haven't noticed one yet uh, that's been accused of being too conservative, but everyone we've found to talk about has been far left. I mean, I don't... Who's in charge of the ABC? We'll get onto that in a second. Meanwhile, there's a smell of death, uh, Sophie, about Victorian Liberal leader John Pesudo is now facing leadership speculation. It's got... Uh, defamation claims against him by three women he falsely implied were associated with neo-Nazis and is now complaining that the media is out to get him. Here he is. We just want fair treatment in the media. There are standards applied to our side of politics that simply aren't applied to the government. You would never, and tell me if I've got this wrong, you would never run some of these stories against the government. You wouldn't. Now, personally, Sophie, I think John Pesudo's biggest problem is John Pesudo. It's not the media. What's his problem here? And does he have a case? Well, his problem is his political career or leadership career is very close to ending, Andrew. He has one foot in the political grave. Going out and attacking the media as a politician wins you no friends and often results in the media going harder, Andrew. Uh, now, I would argue down here in Victoria, the media, some parts of it, were very, very tough on the Labor government, particularly Daniel Andrews, uh, for all manner of things. And then... John Pesciuto is now saying, I wouldn't get the same treatment. Now, whoever's advising him now, his job should be in jeopardy because everyone on this John Pesciuto ship is jumping off because his leadership 
I think, will be over in a matter of weeks. Uh, he is just in dire straits when he is actually criticising the media for its, its conduct. I mean, John Pesciuto needs to take a look in the mirror. His media tactics are shocking. Absolutely.